Welcome to this week's Overwatch news without the bullshit. Let's get started. This week saw the announcement of the release date of Hammond into the live servers. The new mobile tank is set to release on the 24th of July. It is also speculated that the 2018 Summer Games event will drop soon after, as this Blizzard teaser on Twitter hinted towards its return. The last two years have seen the event launching on both the 2nd and 8th of August. No official announcements have been made. It is also worth mentioning that Overwatch will be having a free weekend between the 26th and 30th of July, shortly after the release of Hammond. There has also been a large amount of proposed hero changes on the PTR this week. The first being for Anna, whose ultimate ability now heals the target for 300 HP upon activation. This is designed to give her ultimate more flexibility in a larger variety of situations. The next change is for Brigitte, whose shield bash cooldown has been increased from 6 seconds to 7 seconds. This change is intended to give enemy players more opportunities to play around this ability. She now also has access to a menu option to control her armor pack sensitivity. Hanzo is similarly on the list for a minor change, with his lunge ability cooldown being increased by 1 second. We now move on to Mwera, whose passive health pool regeneration rate has been increased by 20%. This is designed to make her more useful when no enemies are near. Lucio receives two proposed changes. His passive healing and speed radius has been increased from 10 meters to 12 meters. The temporary shields granted during his sound barrier have also been increased from 500 to 700. However, the duration of the ultimate remains unaffected. Mercy receives perhaps the most controversial change, with her healing rate per second being decreased from 60 to 50. The developer state that Mercy's current healing makes her impossible to replace in any team composition, and that this change should allow a more diverse range of support heroes to thrive. Widowmaker is next on the list, with her grappling hook cooldown being increased by 2 seconds. This is intended to slightly reduce the frequency in which she is able to reposition herself. Symmetra also receives a small change, with her primary fire range being increased by 20%. Zarya has likewise received some unexpected changes, with her energy drain rate being reduced by 20%. However, her ultimate radius being decreased from 8 meters to 6 meters. These changes are designed to make it easier to keep her charge at a high level, but to compensate for the higher ultimate frequency by making it slightly weaker. Six other heroes have also had small changes, with Junkrat, Farah, Winston, Zen, Genji, and Thick Boyle having their weapons reload upon the end of their ultimate abilities. In other news, the Overwatch League ends in one week, and Tracer becomes real. Yeah.